Uh, what force is needed to move a 8.85 centimeter diameter marble through caro corn syrup at one centimeter per second? Mm, I think we must use this formula. All right, so our force is going to be 6 times pi times, uh, that's pretty viscous. All right, 2.350, that's Pascal seconds. All right, times, uh, let's see, the radius is, oh my god, uh, 0.85. Divided by two, divided by one hundred, right? So point the radius is 0.85 times ten to the minus two because it's centimeters, right? Divided by two. Let's figure that out. 0.85 uh, e minus two divided by two, and that is um, uh, 4.25 times ten to the minus three. So that's what that so goes in here, right? Okay. That's what I did there. That's what all that double re is. Okay, so that's radius, and then the velocity is one centimeter per second, so 0 0.01 meters per second. And this is meters. All right. Um, somehow that's force. How is that force? Um, oh, I see how it's force. I see it. A Pascal, remember, is a Newton per square meter, right? And then the seconds cancel these seconds, right? Um, and the meters and the meters cancel that, and we end up with just newtons. I see it. Okay, so we're going to just calculate the 6 times pi times 2.35 times parentheses, oh wait, it's just 4.25. E minus 3 is what this is, right? All right, uh, times 0.01. And it's not very many Newtons. I get 1.88 times 10 to the minus third Newtons, which is equal to 1.9 millinewtons. Millinewtons! It is a millinewton. There you go.